So far, Ghana's aviation sector has been the front runner in terms of the developmental projects and initiatives in the country in recent times. The latest update coming in with regards to the booming sector in Ghana is based around the fact that both the Tamale Airport and the Kumasi International Airport are about 99% complete and on the verge of being fully operational. In today's video, we take an in-depth look at the bars surrounding the Tamale Airport and the Kumasi International Airport which have been deemed almost ready for operations. Before we begin, kindly like and subscribe to this channel for more insightful content. Let's dive right into it. Ghana pretty much aims to be recognized as the new aviation hub for West Africa due to the immense amount of investment that has been put into the aviation industry over the recent years. In order to grow the aviation sector even more and reach higher heights, it has been deemed by the aviation industry that the country needs more than the one international airport Airport that was available to the country. For a long while now, the Kotoka International Airport has been the sole international airport with license to operate flights all over the world. With the ever-growing tourism and aviation industry in Ghana, two regional airports, the Kumasi Airport and the Tamale Airport, whose operations were limited to local flights around the country, have been put through a series of renovations and expansions in order to raise the standards to match the international level. The Kumasi International Airport Airport, the second busiest airport in the country, only second to the Kotuka International Airport, after going through several expansion projects and facelifts, is all but complete and ready for international operations. The required test runs are being carried out to ensure proper safety and functionality. The managing director of the Ghana Airport Company Limited, Pamela Jamison Tete, in a recent press release in regards to the state of the upcoming Kumasi and Tamale International Airports, stated that the Kumasi International National Airport is complete and undergoing testing and commissioning. She stated that the airport will have a capacity of 1 million passengers per day. She also stated that the Tamale International Airport, which has been equipped with a multi-purpose terminal with a new VIP lounge and two boarding gates, four self-serving check-in, eight check-in and other essential amenities, will also begin operations soon. The meeting was set up to engage key stakeholders on how to improve the services of the aviation industry. The renovation and expansion works on both the Kumasi International Airport and the Tamale International Airport have been able to operate local flights during this period and with the launch of Ghana's very own carrier airline around the corner, it seems to be the perfect time for the country to have more than one available international airport. The Kumasi International Airport is scheduled to start its operations in a few months time once the tests being carried out by the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority and and other international bodies are wrapped up. The Tamale International Airport would, however, continue operation on a local and regional level for the time being, but was hinted that it would also be ready to operate international flights sooner rather than later. The establishment of airports in other regions of the country, such as the Sunani Airport and others, are keeping the growing momentum of Ghana's aviation industry at an all time high. With these two airports becoming fully functional international airports, in the near future. Aviation in Ghana is certain to reach new heights, boosting the tourism industry along with it. This will no doubt boost the economy of the country and the aviation sector would even become a much more key contributor to the economy than it is now. Locals are also looking forward to be presented with numerous job opportunities through this venture. If you like content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, check out this video next on massive projects in Ghana that would also amaze you. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.